buddy uh, okay sir my topic is sir uh, symbiotic association of fungi with algae uh, next next uh, introduction symbiosis means sim means together bios means living totally symbiosis means living together symbiosis is a close association between two or more organisms of different species there are three types of symbiotic association uh, one is uh, mutualism both species are benefited another one is commensalism one species benefited and other is neither harmed or benefited uh, third one is uh, parasitism one species benefited at the expense of other in the parasitism only one species uh, can uh, benefit it next slide sir um coming to algae algae are defined as group of predominantly aquatic photosynthetic and nucleus bearing organisms that lack the true roots stems leaves and specialized multicellular reproductive structures of plants next sir next sir coming to fungi fungi are eukaryotic organisms that include microorganisms such as yeast molds and mushrooms these organisms are classified under kingdom fungi um, next sir uh, mainly uh, coming to my topic the symbiotic relationship between algae and fungi is called lichens Uh, these fungi provides water and minerals to the alga while the algae performs photosynthesis and supplies the food in the form of sugars to the fungi uh, mainly lichens uh, is the final uh, species of uh, symbiotic association between algae and fungi so lichen a lichen is not a single organism rather it is a symbiosis between different organism a fungus and alga are cyanobacterium uh, the algae is the product of okay sir um algae is uh, nature of association uh, mainly cyanobacteria are sometimes still refers to as blue green algae though they are quite distinct from the algae uh, the lichen has a non fungal partner which contains chlorophyll that is called photobiont Uh, the fungal partner may be referred to as the mycobiont while most lichen partnership consists of one mycobiont one photobiont mainly a, um, uh, a lichen uh, is uh, uh, having the structure of uh, photobiont and mycobiont photobiont is uh, um, is uh, helps in photosynthesis and making the food and uh, and uh, transfers to the fungi and uh, fungal partner mycobiont uh, is uh, uh, give shelter to the algae the fungal partner may be sir madi madi the fungal partner ha uh, sir the fungal partner may be refers to as the mycobiont while most lichen partnership consists of one mycobiont and one photobiont the fungal partner is seen uh, seen to be composed of filamentous cells and each such filament is called hypha the photobiont contain chlorophyll algae and cyanobacteria can manufacture carbohydrates with the help of light via photosynthesis by contrast fungi do not make their own carbohydrates in a lichen some of the carbohydrates produced by the photobiont is of course of used by the lichen and some is harvested by the mycobiont which is produced by fungal partner comes to structure of thallus of the lichen Uh, uh there are three parts of uh, include uh, is in the structure of thallus one is uh, upper cortex and middle they have a algal layer called uh, photobiont and in the center uh, uh, um, below the algal layer we have a mycobiont that is fungal partner we called as a medulla um below the mycobiont uh, we have lower cortex uh, mainly cortex is most of the lichen having the both upper as well as uh, lower cortex main function of the cortex is protection of photobiont and mycobionts next slide sir photobiont photobiont is an algal component it is a photosynthetic partner of lichen symbiosis 
photobiont consists of chlorophyll in order to undergo photosynthesis therefore main function of photobiont is to produce food or the food for the fungal component present in the lichen mycobiont the mycobiont of lichen is a fung fungus that shelters algae and collects the minerals and water the term uh, mycobiont refers to the lichen's fungal component algae serve as food for fungi while the fungi shelters algae and take up water and the nutrients from the soil next comes next slide uh, comes to significance of lichens and the lichens are useful to human beings in various ways such as food and fodder used in industry and as well as medicine and ecological importance comes to food uh, in india some species of parmelia are used as a curry powder or whole thalas used in food dishes such as garam masala meat masala and sambar masala uh, invertebrates such as termites caterpillars snails slugs feed on some uh, gelatinous lichens lichens like uh, lecanora saxicola and uh, aspicilia calcarean etc are used as food by snails termites and etc next slide sir and it is also used as fodder uh, for example uh, ramelina traxinia or ramelina fastigate avancia prunastri globaria Uh, pulmonaria are used as fodder for animals due to the presence of lichen and a, uh, a polysaccharides thank you thank you abhishek uh, it's uh, it's no oh, sir thank